Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I have something fun for you. We're going to be making a fall wreath using this bicycle wheel wreath ring from Dollar Tree. It's 14 inches and it is metal. And we're going to be using some fall floral picks all from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need some 10 inch deco mesh. You're going to need some ribbon with wire for a bow. You're going to need your wire cutters, your scissors, and your hot glue gun and glue sticks to get started. Just in case you would like to get the same flowers that I bought at Dollar Tree, I picked up three of the orange hydrangeas, picked up one of the maple bouquet, one of the mini pomegranates, three of the pumpkin fillers, and two of these, I don't know if I'm saying it right, viburnums. Aren't those pretty? I just love the purple with the orange. So that's what I picked up all from Dollar Tree. I removed all of the tags off of the flowers. So now we're going to start with the taller ones, which are the pumpkin filler picks. So I'm putting them down first. Next, we'll go with these pretty purple flowers. Just kind of fluff them as you go. Okay, and then I'm going to add the maple leaves. Then I have the three hydrangea picks, and these come in a lot of pretty colors too. So we've got three of them. And then I'm going to put the berries right in the center. Just like this. And I'm going to take a zip tie and zip tie them together. Pull it nice and tight. Okay, now you're going to want to go back and just kind of shape your bouquet. Make sure you fluff everything. So I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, so this is how they look when they're fluffed. I just kind of bent the stems of the pumpkin filler just a little bit so that they're not going just straight up. Just kind of fluff the flowers and shape them. I just measured about 24 inches on my 10 inch mesh and first you're just going to take it and you're just going to find the center of it. So gather it in the center, doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to leave the tails kind of hanging down and we are going to add it to the center of our bicycle wheel. I'm just going to zip tie it on. This is 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire. So we're going to make a bow. So we're going to let out a tail. We're going to make a loop. Keep it pinched tightly in your left hand. Go to the other side, make another loop about the same size as your first loop. Check to make sure they're about the same size. Sometimes when you have a design on your ribbon, you have to twist the ribbon to keep the design on top and showing. Check to make sure they're about the same size. So we're making a double bow. Let out a tail. Okay, and you'll want some floral wire close by. Wrap it tightly around the center of your bow. Till the ends, fold your ribbon in half, the edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, and you're going to cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty bee on the ends. Okay, guys, and this is the way the bow looks. Just a simple double bow. First, you're going to take your wires that are on your bow, you're going to wrap them around your little swag or your bouquet of flowers. Just 
going to go above that zip tie. Make sure you get the wires nice and tight. Give them a few twists. Then you're going to take those wires, leave them long. Now we're going to our bicycle wheel wreath form. We're going just above this zip tie right here. Going to thread the wires through. We're going to the back and going to give them a few twists. You will also want to add a wire up here so that your flowers do not fall forward on your wreath. Okay guys, then you'll want to flip it back over, fluff your flowers, fluff your bow, make sure that you pull your tails forward on your bow, and make sure you pull your deco mesh forward too so that your tails are forward and they will curl up. And that's it guys, we're ready to go hang it up. Okay guys, and this is how it looks hanging on my front door. You'll have to let me know what you think. I almost got hit in the head twice by a bird while I was trying to film this. We have a mama bird in a Japanese red maple tree and she has three babies, and so she did not like me filming on the front porch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and share.